Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. In this video, we will explain no, DA subject unit 2, design and analysis of algorithms unit 2. The unit 2 is disjoint set operations. So, what is the meaning of disjoint set? Set means already we know collection of elements. So, what is the meaning of disjoint set? Means disjoint set definition, disjoint, disjoint means no common elements. It is not possible to join. <coughs> so, disjoint set means no common elements no common elements in all the sets no common elements in the all the sets that is called as disjoint set that is s1 is first set and s2 is another set no common element that means s1 intersection s2 equal to pi that means there is no common elements in both the sets. Then those sets are known as disjoint sets. That is the definition of disjoint set. In this disjoint set, we are performing two operations. So what are the two operations are performed in the disjoint set? Means first one is simple union. First one is the simple union operation. And the second one is simple find operation. So simple union and simple find operation. Simple union means union means already we know in the sets it is the combining combination of all the elements. Combining all the elements in that all the sets. Finding means searching an element in the given set. So these two operations are performed on the disjoint set. Okay. First we will go for um, disjoint simple union operation. So, how to use, how to performing simple union operation in the disjoint set. For this, we have to go for implementation. If you want to implement the simple union uh, disjoint sets, we need some memory. We need mem some memory. For that memory, we need to represent three data structure. In data structures, which one is your used for representing simple union means that is tree data structure we are using. So first we need tree data structure and the second point is in all the elements that means set means it is a combination of elements in all the elements any one element any one not like first element any one element is treated as root element. That is called as parent element also. So, so many elements are there in the set. In all the elements, one element is treated as root element or parent element. Okay. So, for example, we represent like this. S1, there are two sets are there. S1, set means representing like this. 1, 2, 3. And we take one more element, as one more set S2. That is 4, 5. First, we check these two are disjoint sets or not. Disjoint sets means no common element in both the sets. So S1 contains 1, 2, 3. S2 contains 4, 5. So totally different elements. So S1 and S2 are known as disjoint sets. Then S1 union S2. S1 union S2 means combining all the elements. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a simple union. You already we know. Now we have to use procedure. Procedure to perform union operation. So, what is the procedure to perform means? Just write procedure to perform a simple union operation. First, in this, in this procedure, the first step is initially, first step is initially consider all the elements are separate trees. Initially, consider all the elements. So, how many elements are there? All the elements are treated as separate trees. Each and every node has a separate tree. Separate trees. Then second one is, second point is, each and every node maintain P of I value. Each and every node maintain P of I. So, what is a P of I? Means parent node. Parent of node i so these are the steps some more steps also there so this is the procedure so first one is again i will write here first step is consider all each and every element each element considered as a 
tree element considered as a tree second one is we have to maintain p of i p of i means parent parent of node right then third one is for root node for every tree has a root node for root node the p of i is minus 1 because root is the starting node there is no for root is the starting node it has no parent node so root of parent node is always minus 1 and fourth one is after performing union update pi pi value after union after performing after performing each union operation each union operation we compulsory update p of i value so this is the procedure for using a applying union operation four steps first each and every element is considered as a tree and second one is find out for each element p of i parent of i for root node the p of i is minus and after minus one and after performing each union you have to compulse or update p of i now we will explain this procedure with some example Take all the elements like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Take 6 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements. So, first step. What is the first step? Step 1. Consider each and every element as a tree element. So, 1 is the tree. 2 is also a tree. Tree, 3, 4. All elements are tree elements. So, this is the step 1 is completed. Then, second one considered as a p of i after union combining union then considered as parent of i also now we'll go for here we write sub separate table we take it here i value how many i values are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 and considered as p of i p of i value Okay, P of I is coming after performing union operations. Now we go for union of 1 comma 2. Here union 1 comma 2. In the union operation, two parameters we require. First one is the parent node. Second one is the child node. If you are representing like this, how can you represent means here 1 is the parent node. 2 is the children node. This is the representation of a tree. 1 is the parent, 2 is the children. So, after performing this, you have to update this table. Parent of each and every node. So, here in this example, 1 is the parent node. So, parent node value is always minus 1. So, 1 is contains minus 1 value. Next child node is 2. 2 parent is 1. So, right here, 2 value is 2 parent is 1. So, updating here. Next. Next one is write union 3 comma 4. Next diagram union combining these two. Union 3 comma 4. So in the union 3 comma 4, 3 is the root node and 4 is the children node. So how can you draw the diagram means 3 is the root node, 4 is the children node and this is the diagram. Again we update it. Again we can update it means 3 is the parent node. So uh, what is the parent of 3 means here minus 1 and 4 4 parent is 3 so you write like this clear is it clear now write union 5 6 last two union 5 comma 6 so here 5 is the root node 6 is the children node so this is the diagram again we update the table 5 is the root node. So, 5 is the root node means which value is coming? Minus 1. 6 is the children node. Parent node of 6 is 5. So, first part is completed. Okay, now, now we go for combining. Combining means I want to combine this tree and this tree. These two trees I want to combine. That means union 1 parent node and here also parent node is 1 comma 3. So, how can you combine these two means just to merge the tree. Okay, here first node is 1, then 2. Then you find it this one. 1 is combined, it is separate tree, separate tree, write it like this. And this has children, so 4. Like this. So, this is the combination of these two values. Now, again update this value, update this table. 
here 1. 1 is minus 1. 1 parent node is minus 1. Next to 2 parent is 1 here. Next to 3. Here 3 is the child of 1. So 3 parent is 1 here and 4 parent is 3. If these two are not changed anything. We are so these values are changed, updated. Just check it once. Okay. Now combining now this table, this one and this one. I want to combine these two tables, these two graphs. If you are combining these two, how it is means union. Take parent nodes of these two tables. 1 comma 5. So how can you write means combining these two tables. Right as it is the table diagraph 2. Then 3. 3 has the 1 children 4. It is over now combining with this 5. 5. Then children of 5 is 6. So yeah, how to find out means you can find out all the trees until we get the single tree. So again update the parent table. Parent uh, P of I table. P of I first one is there. One parent no parent so minus 1. Next to 2. Children 2 parent node is 1. Yes. 3. 3 parent node is 1. Yes. 4. 4 parent node is 3. Next 5. Where is the 5 node? 5 node is 1 and 6 it is 5. So now everything is formed as a single tree. So this is called as simple find, simple union algorithm. Simple union for two disjoint sets. Okay. Now we will go for algorithm. Algorithm for simple union. Simple thing. Just write algorithm. Algorithm. Algorithm name is simple union. How many parameters we require? We require two parameters. One is the root node, one is the child node. Simple union i comma j. The algorithm is p of j equal to i. So how we deal with? Just check it here through example. I will explain this algorithm also. So in this example, 1 comma 2. Union example here. Union 1 comma 2. So, 1 is treated as I, 2 is treated as J. So, diagram is like this. 1, 2. Already have explained here. So, here what is the parent of 2? J. J is 2. P of 2. What is the parent of 2? That is 1. That means P of J equal to I. Simple thing. So, this is the algorithm for simple union. So, what is the time complexity? Time complexity of simple union. Time complexity of simple union. If there are n elements are there means we need n minus 1 operations. 1 elements means we need 1. one. We need one n minus 1 operations. Check it once in the previous example also. So first in the beginning how many elements we took? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 operations. 6 elements are there. So, how many times are using the graph means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After fifth diagram, you are getting the final tree. So, six elements are there means within the five diagrams, five trees are combining entire operation. Similarly, if you have n, up, n unions, we need n minus 1 operation. So, time complexity is big O of n. So, this is the simple union operation. Now, well, after that, I will explain simple find algorithm so simple find operation so what is find operation means searching an element in the given search set searching an element in the given set okay if the element is available that means it is a successful search it returns what it returns means it returns set representative item if the successful what which element you have to check it that element is available in the tree then it returns set representative element. So which one is the set representative element that is called as root element or parent element. If it is successful successfully find the particular element then it is printing that root element or its parent element. Okay now we are example you take the some example. 1 in the previous example only 1 2 parent is 2 then that means combining 1 comma 3 union of 1 comma 3 
here three and three pair and no children node is four okay now we just write that here i want to search search element is four so first find out search element is available in the tree or not yes it is there so it is successful search successful search means it returns its parent four parent is three but it is a subtree three parent is one so it returns the value is one not three it returns the value is one okay now for example this for this i write the algorithm 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 for simple find so how many parameters we requirements we need only one parameter because you are finding how many elements you are finding only one element algorithm is while we require loop statement while p of i is greater than or equal to zero then i equal to p of i close it then return i so this is the algorithm for finding okay now i will explain through an example for this this tree only take i value how many i values are there one two three four find out the parent i p of i what is the p of i one is a root node so its value is minus one two two parent is one three three parent is one four parent is three four parent is three okay this one now i want to search find of i find of i means here high value is 4 coming to here while p of i p of i means parent of 4 what is the parent of 4 here parent of 4 is 3 so 3 is greater than or equal to 0 yes it is correct if it is correct immediately i equal to p of i so what is the i value p of i value p of i value is 3 so i equal to 3 again loop it loop here find i means now here find 3 coming to here again p of i what is p of i here p of i means i value is 3 p of 3 what is the p of 3 here 1 so 1 is greater than or equal to 0 yes it is also correct if it is correct make it i value is 1 p of i p of i is 1 here okay again go for parent of i what is p of i is it minus 1 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 no it our condition is failed so whenever a condition is failed exit from the loop exit from the loop and return i so what is your return i the return i i value is 1 so i value is 1 so whenever you searching four element the answer is 1 because four parent is total parent is 1 so like this we can find the element in this group you this is called a set find operations the time complex to find operation is big o of n so this is the time complexity so like this find what is the disjoint sets and what are the disjoint set operations find operation and simple union operation thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel share it to your friends and in the description box i will give the complete notes for unit 2 okay check it once thank you